we want to look at some rational equations. Rational equations are equations which contain fractions. And on occasions, the variable will end up in the denominator of our fraction. So we need to really learn how to handle that situation. This is a situation we've worked with before, where we simply have numbers in the denominators of the fraction. So our technique is to get rid of the fractions. We do that by finding a multiplier that would eliminate the denominators. When we multiply by that quantity, it will be sufficient to cancel what's in the denominator. And in this case, that happens to be 18. 18 multiplied times each of those denominators would cancel them completely. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 18. There on the left, excuse me, on the right side, when we multiply, we can do some canceling first. 2 goes into 18 9 times, so 9 times 3, or 27, is left for us. Here, I need to multiply 18 times each of those. So that's my think clouds. I'm thinking about multiplying 18 times both of those quantities. I would have to do that. I'd have to distribute that multiplication of 18. Well, 9 goes into 18 twice, leaving us 2 to multiply times both terms of that binomial. So that's going to give us 2x minus 8. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. Here, the 18s cancel completely, leaving me just a minus sign in front of those two terms. Remember what a minus sign does in front of terms. It changes the signs of the terms behind it. So this is going to be minus 3x minus 1. Minus the plus 1 gives us minus 1. Easy to make a mistake there in that particular problem. Well, let's combine the like terms that are here. 2x minus 3x is negative 1x. Minus 8 minus 1, that's minus 9. A nice linear equation for us to solve. Add 9 to both sides. Negative 1x equals 36. So x has to be negative 36. And we solved that rational equation. Remember, a rational equation simply means the term rational means it has fractions. We solved that rational equation by first getting rid of the fractions. We did that by choosing the correct multiplier that canceled the denominators completely. That's the technique we're going to use even when the denominator will now begin to have the variable.